Hi everyone, my name is Tanya and I am here to show you how to add your products in your admin panel to your POS system. Alright, all you have to do is just select uh, the products that you would like to add or you could just select all of them. Alright, and when you go under bulk edit, you may add available channels or remove available channels. So we can click add and make sure that the POS is ticked. And we can add and it shall reflect it in your POS system. So now moving on to the POS system. So here is where you can uh, log into your account after you have downloaded it from your Google Play Store or Apple App Store, whichever device that you are uh, using. So this one is our Android T2 mini device. Okay, so once you have downloaded the app, uh, this is uh, what our system looks like you may log in using the same account that you use uh, to log into your admin panel. All right, so I will log in. So these are all the stores that I have been added into in my admin panel. I'll just select one store. All right, and over here is um, the outlets that I have. I'm going to select one of them. Okay, and over here, these are all the products that is added into my admin panel. Okay and I will just select a few products. Okay, under other operations. This is where I can add my custom sales, which means I can add a temporary product into my system. Okay, let's just add a title, for example, product one. Okay, and click add to cart. All right, this is where you can see your custom sales. Also, under other operations, this is where you can add your customer. So if let's say your customer is a member of your store, you can search their name or email or number. Okay, and over here, you can also apply a manual discount, uh, either by amount, percentage, or by coupon code as well. All right, I'm gonna enter an amount. Okay. Add. Okay, and over here in, apply, in pending orders and order taking, it is basically adding an additional card. If one of the customer is holding the line, you can actually uh, create a new card to to serve the other customer first, okay? Over here is where you can also add salesmen if let's say you have staffs that are um, earning commission, you can they can actually select their own name, okay? All right, and after everything is uh, done, you may check out. So these are the payment methods that are added into my admin panel. Okay, um, for simplicity, I will select cash. And over here, uh, here um, you can actually select how much cash the uh, customer is uh, handing to you. And this is just an uh, assumption, okay? Or you would like to enter an amount also, you may. So once the sales is made, this is the receipt that will come out. All right, complete. So this is basically how the checkout works in our 2.0. Let us go to home over here. So here is where you can do your order taking. Okay, and uh, this is where you can view all your orders that were previously made and you can do returns, exchange, or print another receipt. Okay, so for returns, you may add which product to return and just select. And to exchange, you may also select which product to exchange and you may select the one that is the nearest to the price point. For example, and confirm 
and you can add an exchange uh, note maybe they don't want any more and save okay go back all right so over here is where you can view all your products And over here is where you can view all your customer database. Under reconciliation is where you can check your register shift, um, your staff that are uh, clocking in or clocking out and how many hours or days that they have been working and how many orders were made. Okay. And over here is your day and summary. And under cash tracking is where when you have a cash box and you would like to take out or put in some cash, you can select put in cash and also enter the amount and note. And for takeout cash, it is the same. Just enter the amount that you have taken out from the cash box. Okay. Under analytics, we have uh, two analytics for now for the product sales report to identify which one is your best seller all right and for staff performance report is to identify your staff's performance and which staff has been um, has been selling more orders okay and under apps Inventory allocation is where you request an uh, inventory transfer from another outlet. Okay, you may create a requisition form over here. Okay. And here is where you can use to count your inventory. All right, you can create a count form and once you can, you can select your products, buy products or all products or buy category. All right. Confirm. And then you can exclude negative inventory and start counting your product. You can put account task name. All right, and once your staff has uh, completed the uh, inventory count, you may click complete. All right, let's go to back. All right, under settings is where you can find your hardware management, where you can add any hardware, um, for example, uh, a scanner or maybe a label printer. All right, and over here is where you can view all your payment collection management, which will be um, added into from your admin panel. And over here is where you can switch stores. Okay. So over here in switch store, this is where you can choose your outlets to switch from. And under switch language, you may choose your preferred language. So upload log is where you upload your entire day's log into your admin panel. And under here about us, under support, is our FAQ page. Okay. And over here is where you can search anything that is related to our Shopline 2.0 system. If you need help, you can just search for pause, click the search button. And these are all the FAQs that we have on the POS. So if you would like to know how to add a product, how to log into the POS app, and so on, you may actually find it here. All right, lastly, you can just quit your current account to sign off. And this is how our Shopline POS 2.0 works.